Welcome back. We've seen floating. We've seen car crushing. It wouldn't be fitting without Monster Tag. Rick Romanini in Iron Reaper. And Andy Hoffman in the Nightcrawler. Gonna put on a show for you fans. Romanini's coming out first with his brand new Iron Reaper. This is the debut for the beautiful new Iron Reaper. Rick actually transformed the Iron Reaper truck from what was originally the Star Tracks tank in 12 days. Rick's done a phenomenal job with the truck. A great looking truck right now, or tank if you will. Powered by a, a 5.9 liter Cummins. So we've, we're seeing a fair share of diesel action today. Jeff Cook with his diesel shotgun Harry and Rick Romanini with his diesel Iron Reaper. Rick's out of Belleville, Michigan and ha is amassing quite an old school monster truck collection. As you've seen, he owns the Livewire truck, the Uncle Slam truck, a, a mud truck that you'll see later on. And here we've got the Iron Reaper M4 personnel carrier. Wow, you can just hear the 20 plus thousand pounds of Iron Reaper putting a crunching on the metal out on the track for his destruction. Really showing you the force that probably couldn't be appreciated in the old days if you're watching some of the classic monster truck events. Here you see firsthand really how much force these monster tanks rush down upon their automotive victims with. The big thing you'll notice about Romanini's Iron Reaper versus Andy Hoffman's Nightcrawler is they are definitely distinctly different chassis. Both are tanks, but the chassis are completely different. Iron Reaper taking a venture around some of the other obstacles on the track. You can see right there, even over the smallest obstacle, the driver suffers a lot of impact with absolutely zero suspension in these M4 personnel carriers. The truck really seems to sit very high and is so much larger in person than you probably would expect. Romanini gonna pass over the van stack again, the GasGuzzy.com van stack, teetering on the edge, almost down. No, he's gonna back it up. You don't hear this very often, but Iron Reaper, the tank, showing the dexterity of a gymnast right there, a balancing act. These tanks are awesome to see in person. Now, as we mentioned, Andy Hoffman in the Nightcrawler tank, a completely different sort of tank from the M4 chassis. This is a later progression of the tank. This truck actually has some limited suspension travel. This is a 113A personnel carrier from the 60s. This truck actually started life as the Predator Track truck. Built in 1990, a lot of history there. Surely a flashback for Alan Pizzo this weekend, seeing his old piece in action. Andy Hoffman can really come out and attack the track a lot differently than the Iron Reaper truck can with that even that little bit of suspension. Hoffman's got a, a 468 cubic inch Chevy on alcohol in the, the rear engine bay of the uh, Nightcrawler tank. It's a Chevy Astro body style. Suspension or not, still a foam jarring landing in a tank truck. And it looks like Andy Hoffman's gonna take on the deep pit that has conquered every other competitor today. Wow! This truck, well into the teens of thousands of pounds. Are you making it through? He's gonna conquer this pit! Oh, it's bogging down a little bit. Oh, no! Oh, he's right on the edge! He's not gonna make it! Oh, there's definitely some issues with the Nightcrawler truck. Yeah, 
And we're getting word that Hoffman snapped a blower belt, and that's why he didn't make it. I'm convinced, ladies and gentlemen, that Andy Hoffman would have made it through the deep pit in the Nightcrawler tank. What? Nearly 20,000 pounds, and he would have made it. Hoffman's still in good spirits, despite the muddy endeavor that he has to deal with digging his way out of the pit. What old school nostalgic show would be complete without an old school show and shine competition? Here you see some of our notable representation, some of our finalists this weekend. A lot of beautiful trucks showed up for the Gas Guzzi event, and this is just a selection of the few. We did have some exhibition mud bogs. Rick Romanini, seen all throughout the day, brought out his Johnny Law diesel mud bogger. Didn't quite make it through. The truck died down. Andy Ludington in the old and dirty K5 took his best shot, but he couldn't make it through the pit either. And here is Rick Romanini back out with that big tractor tired, diesel powered Johnny Law mud bogger. Oh! The truck nearly died, but he's still going. We got some time lapse action here. Romanini just would not give up. Forward and backwards. The drivetrain in this big diesel Johnny Law has got to be near indestructible. But there you see Johnny Law making some progress. Definitely making it a lot further than any tired truck has today. We saw Andy Hoffman make a great run and break the blower belt. So no one's made it through. And Johnny Law has made it over the hump. He's got some great progress. He's going to make it. I think Johnny Law is going to make it out of this pit. Yes, Rick Romanini holding his fist up in triumph is going to take Johnny Law all the way through the deep pit. The only one to make it all day. Finally, at the end of the day, someone conquers the deep pit at the 404 Off-Road Truck Show Challenge. Now, last two mud balls through the shallow pit, Brian Earn successfully won this competition and smoked all other competitors. We also featured class three competition, which was really bring what you got. You saw the little go-kart out there, and even up to these drag rails. That one was out of bounds, so he didn't finish in the money. Here's our third place competitor, a quasi super stock Jeep with a good time to the pit. We had these mud rails, Brian Hearn in second spot. Brian Hearn, a spectacular fireball in the Purple Passion, but still managed to roll across the timing line. Good enough time went for second spot. But our number one run of the day, this highly modified tubular chassis Jeep. A great run through the pit. He'll take the win today. But our final event of the day is going to be something we're sure you'll be pleased with. Jeff Cook bringing out Shotgun Harry once again. And Alan Pizzo out once again with the Predator 1. We're going to do some old school car crushing. And Alan Pizzo bringing out the beautiful Predator 1. And these guys are going to put on a crushing display. Look at the flash shattering. A very old school effect. And this big eight wheel Predator thundering down, smashing those cars. Incredible effect. You know Alan Pizzo has had a spectacular time all day at the, the Gas Guzzi event. The fans have enjoyed themselves. Predator coming back around, going to take a hit from the opposite direction. Clearly, eight tires, 20 feet wide of Predator. Doesn't quite fit on the car set, but uh, makes for a, a phenomenal effect. The truck just mutilating everything in its path. Really just smearing all the iron out on the track. Al Pizzo's gonna go reverse. Gonna do a reverser across the car set. 
We got some cars moving in the center. No harm for Alan Teasel and Predator. You see that last car has still got the glass in it. Gotta be between 15 and 20,000 pounds and just destroying all the cars in its path. The truck floats, the truck crushes. Now Pizza's gonna go around and take a, a swipe at some of the tough truck tracks. He's gonna approach this dirt hill down here. I'm not sure the truck's gonna fit. Not a perfect fit, but Pizza's out there having fun. He's gonna loop it around towards the steep hill. Oh yeah, over that hill. A little off the side. Very return of the monster truck. For all of you old school fans out there, Pisa's gonna come around, salute the fans at the end of an outrageous day. Pisa's showing off, putting down the mat on that big Predator engine, showing off for the camera. Now, Shotgun Harry is heading out onto the track, and Jeff Cook is gonna close out the show with the fabulous new Shotgun Harry International Scout 2 Traveler. It's been a phenomenal event all day long. We've all had a great time. The fans have come out in masses. They've had an awesome time. They've seen a lot of events that haven't been seen in 20 plus years. Monster trucks floating across the water, car crushing action as monster trucks truly began actually crawling up on the cars and just demolishing everything in their path. Jeff Cook put on a phenomenal event all day long. We'll be looking for some great gas guzzy events in the future. Jeff Cook just wants to show off right now. This is his opportunity. He's gonna attack the van stack. Shotgun Harry pounding down on those cars with fruit monster truck four. Oh, look at that caravan in the center of the stack. The glass holding up perfectly. Climbing up with those vans. This would have been a huge feat back in the 80s. Trucks didn't soar over vans and bus stacks like they do today. With the more primitive leaf spring suspension, trucks didn't have the suspension travel necessary to pick those landings. Some of you will remember the old Taurus truck actually had his trademark that he would climb up over a set of buses, creeping and crawling all the way. Shotgun Harry with the reverser. Oh, oh no. Shotgun Harry in trouble. Shotgun Harry off the cars. Oh, he's all off kilter. Let's see if he can work his way out of it. Ah, uh, it looks like he's getting his, the rear housings hung up on that fan stack that just wouldn't bust. The fans held up so well, and it looks like he, it's going to hold him up now. Shotgun Harry is high centered. Jeff Cook's going to take it all in good form and climb out, salute the crowd. He's going to check out. There you see it. The van is just, the van is just wedged under the rear housing of the truck. We're gonna have to get a loader out here. Doesn't look like any significant damage to the truck. We'll find out later, but they're gonna get a loader out here. They're gonna pry Shotgun Harry off the van stack. We're gonna actually have to pull the van stack out from under the truck. Alan Pizzo back out for a parade lap. One final parade lap in the, the eight-wheeled Predator one. Shotgun Harry off the van stack that hung him up. Jeff Cook is out and gonna prove that no car stack is gonna conquer his monster truck. Just an incredible piece of equipment. A beautiful truck, Shotgun Harry. Shotgun Harry closing out the 4x4 Off-Road Truck Show Challenge. Wow, what an event in Auburn, Indiana. Jeff Cook just put on a spectacular show. We'll hope for a lot of great gas guzzy events in the future a lot of old school events i've got to thank alan pizzo and predator one for the ride of a lifetime jeff cook for all his hospitality with shotgun harry gas guzzy events a great show look for us more in the future we've had a great time we'll see you next time on action tracks yeah.